Wow. You guys obviously saw my reaction. Pretty, pretty raw feelings right now. Pretty speechless. I've had about like an hour to process things. I've FaceTimed my parents. Uh, we can pop up a quick clip of that right here. Hey mom. Hey dad. I, I figured you guys were busy, but I want to tell you I matched to uh, the U.S., so uh, it's official now. Yeah. Oh, my God, Connor. I'm going to cry and I'm going to go. I should hit the screen record going right now. This is funny. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's like official, so that's where I'm going, I guess. So. It's a good move, Connor. Yeah. Connor, I'm so, I mean, I'm speechless, but I am just so... So happy for you. I had a feeling in my gut that this was the right thing for you. Yeah. I, I'm gonna lose it. Like I'm just so happy. Like the stress. You've worked so hard for everything. I can't even tell you how proud I am of you. Like. No thanks. Yeah. Told my roommates. Haven't told too many people so far. I think my immediate reaction after I opened the email was to just tell some loved ones, and I haven't told everyone yet. But it's uh, it's pretty raw right now. Obviously, I don't know officially where I'm going to be heading, but uh, nonetheless, it's it's pretty pretty crazy right now the way I'm feeling. It's kind of really hard to describe, but super happy, obviously, and, and thrilled and excited for this next chapter. I mean, I've been waiting for this moment throughout all medical school, really. Like, this is kind of, without sounding cheesy, it's kind of like what you, what you strive for throughout these four years, and it's finally here, and, you know, it's definitely really nice to have some direction in my life, and Again, I'm super excited for this next chapter, and I think wherever I end up, uh, I'm going to be super happy and, and going to get some really good medical training. So you can see the grin on my face. Very happy right now. But the official match today is actually on Friday, so kind of trying to keep things low-key. I'm obviously filming this on the Monday when we are able to see whether we match at all, but I'm uh, going to keep pretty low-key throughout the week. I want things to be you know official on Friday, and then I can kind of release where I'm going. But... Um, thought I'd kind of share this original clip with you guys and obviously I'm not going to be posting this until after the match day on Friday but this is raw, this is on the Monday when I first found out that I'm going to be practicing internal medicine in the United States so um, again pretty speechless, I'm doing my best to kind of articulate things here but super excited. I guess I just want to say too, I know I don't know where I'm going but I do want to take an opportunity to kind of thank my family members, uh, particularly my parents who have obviously been with me every step of the way. I really couldn't be where I am today without them. Um, financially is a big one too. It's, it's obviously not cheap to come over and study in Ireland. But more than that, just from a motivational factor and, and providing like a really good foundation for me early on in life to kind of achieve the success and, and always being there with me. I mean, everyone knows, every medical student knows. Medical school is very tough and really challenges you mentally, I find a lot, but it's about those support systems that you have. And, you know, my parents have been there every step of the way, like I said, and my siblings have been super supportive of me as well. I think even just little check-ins that they, they did throughout the four years, making sure I'm okay and coping with things properly. I think looking back on this all really meant a lot to me and kind of helped me propel forward and I think that's all I want to say about that because I don't want to sound too cheesy these are all raw emotions like I said uh, not really making a lot of cuts but yeah it's it's just a crazy moment obviously all my friends that have been there throughout the way too particularly people in medical school have kind of helped me throughout my studies and, and people in undergrad when I was at Western in my kinesiology degree so I'm speechless guys I'm rambling on, I'm probably rambling on right now, I know, I know, but this is a pretty crazy feeling and I'm excited for the next chapter. Hard to get the grin off my face, but we'll touch base with you guys on Friday when I officially know where I'm going, so that's going to be the second part of this video.
match to Mount Sinai Valley Hospital Program in Paramus, New Jersey, my first choice. <laughs> What an absolute whirlwind. This week has been crazy and I'm just super honored to be joining the Mount Sinai Valley Hospital program for internal medicine. And I guess I kind of said that in the first part of the video and I didn't even realize, but I think this is the first time I'm telling you guys that I only apply to internal medicine and maybe I'll talk a bit about that later on the video and probably more in another video to be honest because I think it's going to be tough spitting out all these words right now but I'm trying my best but I'm super thrilled this was my first ranked program and it's really crazy because I just got such such good vibes from this program I remember when I interviewed they're just so warm to me and so friendly and kind and you know meeting the program director and talking with her for over half an hour was was really great and she's she's lovely and just the other people that interviewed me and all the talks and and uh, information sessions that they had I just got really warm vibes about everyone there and what they kind of stood for and there's so many benefits of this program and I think I'm going to talk more about those in another video as well but I guess to name a few right now they just really valued resident wellness, which was super important to me. And I think that the fact that they really made that a priority was a big factor in to kind of what made me rank that first over other programs, I guess. And, you know, they have a new $850 million hospital next year, which I'm super excited to be the first resident group that kind of works in there. So that was, uh, that was really good. And the location for me was super important. I mean, this particular area of New Jersey is only about six hours away from my home in Ottawa and it's only 15 minutes outside of New York City so it's obviously a really cool area of the world to kind of live in and you know Mount Sinai in itself is a, a really um, well-renowned I guess hospital group um, primarily based in New York City but this is kind of like an affiliated campus that they have in New Jersey so I'm honored to be a part of this group and I'm super excited. And I guess another topic in itself is, you know, why the U.S. And, and not Canada? As you guys all know, like, I'm Canadian and, you know, I did apply to Canada and I, I've talked about that a little bit in other videos, but maybe wasn't as open as I wanted to be. You know, this process was really difficult and I kind of stayed largely behind the scenes and, and didn't say too much about it. I kind of wanted things to unfold and, and let them, you know, come out as they did, but... I think in another video I'm prepared to talk a bit more about that. But I guess in general, the US match comes out before the Canadian match. And if you do match to the US, you get pulled from the Canadian match. So I won't be going to Canada for my residency. But I guess for me, I wouldn't have ranked this program if it, if it wasn't somewhere that you know I saw myself fitting in. And uh, obviously I have no regrets and I'm super thrilled. But again, I think I can talk more about that in another video, but I think there were too many pros in this situation for me to kind of pass up on this potential opportunity, which kind of led me to this position today. So as I attempt to talk even more while I'm still grinning quite a bit, I guess the next question becomes why internal medicine and why did I only apply for internal medicine? And I think some of you don't even know what internal medicine is. So Basically, again, I think that's probably for another video where I can go into depth about it, but for those you don't know, it's kind of a specialty that focuses on the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of kind of a, a broad and extensive number of diseases in adult patients primarily. And these diseases can be uh, acute or chronic, uh, common or rare, and complex or straightforward, I suppose. And it's really about the interplay between all these internal organs and kind of how that manifests into a large clinical picture. And I think that's kind of what drew me to the specialty, kind of like the holistic nature and problem solving aspect of it and kind of treating and conversing with a wide variety of patients and ailments. And it's a specialty that you can go into uh, subspecialties afterwards. And 
I think when you guys see doctors out there like cardiologists or gastroenterologists, oncologists, endocrinologists, all these kind of doctors had to go through this general internal medicine program. And it's typically three years, but you can do a fourth year if you want to be a general internist. But if you want to subspecialize, you can only, only do three years and then go into the subspecialty afterwards. So I think commonly they call internal medicine doctors uh, generalist specialists, if you will. And I think that's because you got to be aware of a broad number of diseases across multiple organ systems, but also be able to kind of put that into that clinical picture and kind of connect things together. So if any of you guys have seen the show Dr. House, he's an internal medicine doctor, so that might give you a better picture about what it is. So I think that's enough logistical talk for now. I think I just want to finish off by saying that, you know, this has definitely been the biggest challenge of my life. And I think I can talk till I'm blue in the face thanking family members, friends, mentors, and everyone else along the way. But just wanted to say it one last time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, legitimately, I would not be where I am today without all of you. And I'm super grateful for this entire process. I mean, this is my ninth year of post-secondary education. I did five years at Western and, and four years of medical school. And it's been a really, really, really long journey. It's felt like at times, but I'm grateful for all of it and I don't regret a thing and I'm glad everything worked out for me in the end and I'm really excited for this, for this next chapter of my life. Until next time.